Hey guys, this is your Trusted Weather Forecast, and today we're going to be talking about potential Hurricane Sally, Teddy, and Vicky that could form in the Atlantic Ocean over the next couple of days, and that will bring us only one or two names before the Greek alphabet, and we're not even halfway through September. This is a very hyperactive season, and we're at peak right now. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like water-related content. Hit the notification bell if you do not want to miss a single upload. Share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. This is the National Hurricane Center's website. You see we have Paulette and Renee in the Atlantic and four other disturbances. We start off with the one that may affect Mexico. That has a 30% chance of formation through 5 days and a 20 through 48 hours. This poses little to no U.S. threat. This disturbance off the coast of Florida that may impact Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, and the Panhandle has an 80% chance of formation through 5 days and it will be initiated as a tropical depression later today. And I may or may not make another update on this system depending on how fast it moves. This disturbance has a 90% chance of formation through 5 days and will likely become Sally or Teddy just like the one off of the coast of Florida. This one will be watched closely for potential U.S. impacts as it's one of those systems that will likely go south of the Caribbean islands and potentially curve into the Gulf. Last but not least, this orange disturbance off the coast of Africa that will stay out to sea and pose no threat to land, little to no threat to land, has a 40% chance of formation through five days. Let's get right into the models. This is Paulette's National Hurricane Center track. The National Hurricane Center has Paulette peaking as a Category 2 hurricane, and there is a possibility that it strengthens into a major hurricane before bringing major impacts to the island of Bermuda. A direct landfall on Bermuda is possible, but we can't rule anything out yet with how it's going to landfall. It may pass right next to Bermuda, or it may landfall in Bermuda. Whatever happens, the impacts will stay the same. It currently is a tropical storm with 65 mile an hour winds. This system will pose no threat to U.S. mainland. This is Invest 95L's intensity guidance, which is the disturbance off the coast of Africa, the red disturbance off the coast of Africa. Model guidance is pretty split on this. Some of them have it becoming a tropical storm, but most have it reaching Category 2 status or higher, with one notably going into Category 4 status. This potential system, Invest 95L, will likely become a hurricane at some point in its life, and maybe even a major hurricane and potentially a Category 4 hurricane. We cannot rule out any U.S. impacts yet, though it is looking increasingly likely that the U.S. may get impacted with how consistent the models have been. These are potential paths 95 out could take. You see there is consistency with that line there going west and then curving northeast, and those other three outliers are very unlikely to happen, and it shows a dramatic change in direction than what is currently expected. This is intensity guidance for Invest 96L, which is just the disturbance off the coast of Florida that may impact the Gulf. All model guidance, most of them at least, have it peaking as a tropical storm. I believe it will very likely be a tropical storm, at least a low-end one. And some model guidance have it peaking as a low-end Category 1 hurricane, which I think is not out of the question. These are the potential paths 96 L could take. You see they range from a landfall in Texas through a landfall in the Panhandle of Florida. However, they are pretty consistent on a potential Louisiana to Mississippi impact landfall. The system will more than likely be a mid to high end tropical storm with the possibility of a category one hurricane. So the Gulf needs to be on high alert for the system. This is what one model shows what will happen with that disturbance off the coast of Africa, Invest 95L. You see Paulette there with the 983 and the L, and Renee at the 1004 with the L. And you see that disturbance forming with a pressure of 962 millibars. The lower the number, the stronger the system. And you can see this one is notably different than other ones. We can't nail this down yet. 
It's very uncertain, but U.S. impacts are probable. It strengthens even further into 956 millibars before curving out to C in this model run and strengthening further. U.S. impacts are possible from the system. We cannot rule anything out right now. It could go south of the Caribbean islands and into the Gulf, or we could see what just happened here and it will go northeast of the Caribbean islands and stay out to sea. Hopefully, if this is right and there will be no U.S. impacts, however, we will have to wait and see. These are current sea surface temperatures in degrees Celsius. You see there are multiple patches of very warm to hot waters, including in the Gulf and south of Cuba, where there are 30 to 32 degrees Celsius temperatures, and off the west coast of Florida has 31 to 32 degree temperatures, where 95L will likely strengthen in that patch of water. And there is another patch of water southwest of Bermuda, 30 to 32 degrees Celsius. Otherwise, elsewhere, the waters are still very warm with 28 to 30 degrees Celsius. That's the trusted weather forecast for upcoming potential Sally, Teddy, and Vicky. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.